Looking for an awesome idea for today's big game? Check out how mom and I made this awesome little platter of uh, nachos, brisket nachos. Let's go. All right, to get these nachos started, first thing we're gonna do is to make our pico de gallo. The earlier, the better. That way it has, a t it has time to set and really come together. Our cilantro, white onions, some Roman tomatoes, uh, some lime, a couple jalapenos, and some garlic. I'm gonna chop these and we'll be right back. All right, that didn't take very long. We're gonna come in here with six Roman tomatoes. I like more onions than tomatoes, so I added another half of onion. So this is one and a half, about medium onions. This is a quarter cup of uh, minced jalapenos, quarter cup of cilantro, cold minced garlic, and now we're gonna come back with, to start, the juice of one lime. We're gonna get that a little stir to see if we've got enough lime juice, but I am gonna add just maybe another half of the lime. All right, so you wanna make sure you get this uh, very well coated with that lime juice, put it away, and give it a couple hours or so. And, and now for some quick pickle jalapenos. You know, nachos, thing is, I am not a fan of uh, the store-bought pickle jalapenos. They tend to be very mushy as far as I'm concerned. What I've got in here is a half a cup of white vinegar. I'm gonna come back with about three tablespoons of honey. And again, you can adjust everything to your liking. These jalapenos could be blanched, you know, to soften them up a little bit, but I'm a fan of the crisp uh, jalapenos on some nachos. I've got four jalapenos sliced up. Right, you wanna give this a nice stir. So in with our four sliced jalapenos. Uh, this can be done overnight, but a couple of hours we'll get it done. And now our second to last condiment is going to be some uh, guacamole. I'm gonna make it fresh. Moving that seed. You just want to come in here and mash. How smooth you want it is totally up to you. That's about smooth enough for me. I'm going to come back with some of that pico that we just made. A little black pepper. Just a little taste. The only thing missing is a little salt. Sea salt. Boom. Just a little shake. Man, some chips right now. That's all I need. There it is. Just do a little lime juice, man, to try to minimize this browning. And then we are going to just cover this really, really tightly. We're gonna press down, try to get all that air out. And again, all this is just to minimize that discoloration that you get with guacamole. All right, so we're gonna start on the last of our condiment. Uh, our stove is gonna be turned to a, a medium low. Uh, we're going in with probably about a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. And now we've got two cups of uh, queso chihuahua, awesome melting cheese, and uh, one cup of sharp cheddar. So we're just gonna bring this to temperature, start melting slowly. All right, it's been about seven minutes. And now we're gonna come back with uh, eight ounces of warm cube cream cheese. Just gonna drop these right in there. And we're gonna continue with our melting. So we're gonna now come in with a an eight ounce can, a 10 ounce can rather, of uh, Rotel. Diced tomatoes with lime juice and cilantro, liquid and all. And because the, that cilantro is a little discolored, I'm gonna add some fresh in there. All right, man, we're just about there. Uh, we're gonna add in the last few things. Uh, some onion powder, just a nice little shake. A little chili powder, a little cumin, comino, a little garlic powder. This is going to be money. Uh, and now we're just gonna warm up our brisket. Beautiful brisket, man. Uh, we make sure that there weren't any large chunks of fat in there. And we're just gonna warm that up slightly. Not sure if that's too much. Heck, I'm not sure that there's ever such a thing as too much brisket. But we'll give that a few minutes. Uh, man, I've got some tortillas that I was going to fry to make our own chips. But I uh, got lazy. So we're just going to go with some store-bought chips. And I'm going to toss these in a 300-degree oven for about two minutes or so. Now I'm going to come back with some of this beautiful brisket. And you can shred this brisket however you want. I did not want it. I really wanted to have some nice chunky pieces mm -hmm. and I think we hit that. So good it did not thicken mm. up. Oh. 
Almost every chip is going to be loaded here. Let's come back to the second. We're going into the oven for a couple of uh, two minutes. So our chips are hot, man. Our cheese is hot. Our brisket is hot. Mm -hmm. As much cheese as you want or as little, but everybody's got some love. Mm -hmm. I know not everybody enjoys guacamole, but man, that really worked. Look at how so perfect that is. So some of this awesome homemade pico. Yes, sir. I'm like these pico jalapenos. We like sour cream. We've got some Mexican crema right here. Ooh, talk to me now. And then Mom and I will come in here. Ugh. Tell me that's not boss. <laughs> oh, we got a sample of this, but uh, look at that. Like I said, every chip, man, is fully loaded. Uh, and once again, if you want to put your condiments on the side to fill individual chip, you absolutely can. But let's go get this a one, two. Mm, mm, mm. Get our opinion on this one. How you doing, Mama? I'm Lord. Mmm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The jalapeno is crisp, mm -hmm. not too hot. The pickling kind of calms it. Mmm. Wow. So good. What a beautiful way to use some old brisket, man. Totally delicious. Man, I hope your team wins uh, today's big game. Uh, but if they don't, <laughs> you're going to have some awesome eats. Uh, Mom and I want to thank you guys for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe's once again. Uh, be on the lookout for another video coming soon. In the meantime, as usual, we want you to take care of yourselves, love each other, and Mom and I will see you when we see you. Holla!